I have decided to do a video on my BMW 318 fuel injected with the motorsport kit. This is the 2002 model, as you can tell by the rear lights. As well as by the uh, front fog lights. Now I went for the uh, 2002 model over the 2001 model because this one because it, it comes with round fog lights instead of uh, like rectangle strips. It comes with the white indicator lights. Um, and also, yeah, the back lights are a lot nicer as the old, the 2001 model. This is the indicator light and this is just the brake light and now it flows into one nice strip. Which is really nice. This BMW comes with the, uh, the takeoff hook so you can take uh, cars or a caravan or anything like that. Comes with PDC sensors, which is really nice. And obviously, as this is the uh, motorsport sport kit, we get the uh, thicker uh, bumpers and a little spoiler on the back of the car, which is really nice. It's just tiny, but it makes it look just a bit more sporty, which is really nice. We've got the uh, M rims. I know these are different for uh, different countries. This is the Netherlands, the standard one for the Netherlands. I know in the US, uh, for example, they have one with less spikes. I think it's like six, six or maybe eight. This is the sedan version of the car, so not the coupe. Now I particularly like this because I don't like the long doors because this bit would, it would be so long. Uh, I know that's different for different people. So obviously that's just choice. It's got the white indicator lights on the side, which is really nice. So I think we'll have to uh, take a look inside and show you. Oh, by the way, um, obviously the front spoiler is different and uh, this one has the uh, silver lines around the front. I don't think that's standard on the 2001 or 2002 model. So let's have a look. So we've got the, uh, to start with, the little M right there, which is uh, a nice touch to make sure that it's actually genuine motorsport and not uh, just kitted. The M sport wheel, multifunctional with um, the volume stuff on it right there and the uh, cruise control right there, which is really nice. We've got automatic lights, which is nice. Fog lights in the front and the rear show you the cockpit it's a little bit blurry there you go all uh, all the three series obviously have the uh, fuel indicator on the left the uh, speedometer uh, the fuel usage indicator and the uh, temperature now I'll show you all the lights uh, in a little in a little bit just gonna crawl in the back. This car comes with the uh, titanium interior, which is really nice. You've got the uh, obviously the wood, the titanium, some other kind of gray, and the carbon. I do like the carbon a lot too, but this one came with the titanium, which I think is the second best. You can could the steering wheel can come with uh, the bottom bit as uh, titanium as well. This one doesn't. I don't know if that's standard or not, but and you also have the. Um, uh, this one you can get that in titanium as well, which I'm uh, I might do. So here we have the uh, the climate control system uh, and the CD player, which is really nice. Uh, I'll just turn that on for you, and you'll see. Obviously. The radio. Um, the 
uh, the, the clothing or uh, the fabric used on the seats. This is the, the charcoal, charcoal kind of color, which is uh, nice. I don't know what this material is called, but I know it's not the standard one. Uh, I like it a lot. We have the uh, the ceiling, which is a, uh, a black, a darker black, uh, where the original one is, is lighter. So that's uh, a, a real nice touch. We've got the alarm unit right there, which is really nice. It lights up when you uh, turn the ignition off and lock the car. It only turns on when you're not inside the car yourself, which is uh, a nice touch. Okay, so I'm just gonna start up the car and show you all the, uh, the indicators. Here we have the uh, ignition key for the car. It features uh, a lock and unlock button, as well as the uh, boot opener key button, uh, which can be quite handy. So, we'll put that in the ignition, and you can see what happens when we turn it on. So, um, on the left we have the uh, little thing when you open a door it lights up and it does that as well for the uh, boot. On the uh, indicator we have a little button here and that plays with the uh, middle cycles between the time and the temperature uh, average fuel an hour or uh, uh, fuel uh, per kilometer pardon me and how much kilometers you have left as well as an average speed I think doesn't ever come off 40.4 for me so I'm not entirely sure what this is all right so we have the uh, climate system on here with the uh, automatic thing Let's see it go up right there. You can turn it up. You can also do it manually. It's quite uh, what you'd expect. Quick look at the pedals. You can see the M logo on the uh, rest. You can also purchase additional ones for on the uh, the other pedals, but they don't come standard. Take a quick look at the uh, boot of the car. It comes with the uh, nice rubber button. Don't know if you can see. Don't think so. Basically, all you have to do is press it and it unlocks. The boot is large, very large to be honest with you. Um, I don't know how large. I just know it's large, which is really nice. Um, this feature is really nice when you press this the uh, seats fall forward which is really nice if you forgot to do that you don't have to go into the back of the car to do it closes easily take a quick look in the back I like uh, three seat rests head rests pardon me I think it's time that we take a look under the bonnet. The button in the usual space next to the um, footrest. Just pull it. And you have the little hook right here. I need two hands for this. There we go. And it opens. Now obviously it stays on the, and we have the engine with the BMW logo. So this is the, I think it's 1.9 liters. This is a, a different engine than the 2001 model. I realize this is not the best view you can get when trying to look at the driving of a car, but this is the best I could do to uh, fit the camera. I'm sorry. Starting the car up. I'll take you for a quick spin. The uh, clutch. 
touch is extremely soft on this car, which is really comforting. My previous car was uh, an Alfa Romeo, and um, it was really heavy, and for that reason I wanted to get an automatic car. But when you drive this and you feel this easy clutch, you have nothing to worry about anymore. It is absolutely amazing. The uh, pedals as well, they feel really, really gentle, like if you would gently push the pedal, you don't get the um, slow effect, like the on-off effect, where you jump forward and backwards as you try to gently push the pedal. It's all very, it feels electronical to be honest, it feels smooth, it feels uh, like it's being, uh, like you're being assisted by the car, which is really nice. The uh, gears are really comforting, uh, comfortable. They, uh, it pushes into the gears really easily, which is obviously very important. The steering wheel and the steering assist is all very, uh, very smooth, as you would expect from a BMW. Fast, it feels very steady on.